this is the air an air battery and the pH on the paper I put in there measured four so it's quite acidic. Now the humidity is 39% and the temperature is 20 but if I put a probe up to solution it's a lot hotter than 20. 26.2 is actually rising not because of the light or because of stirring but because of electrode contact between the copper and the um, and the nickel stainless, uh, stainless steel nickel contact and as you can see it's it's stirring quite nicely and that's kind of needed for this function to work without any stirring the voltage will be very low now let's go and see with the backlight it's reading about 2.57 milliamps that's not a lot but uh, that's enough if I, if I put it on a scale microamps it's so high that it doesn't read it Two hundred and forty-three milli millivolts current. Uh, I meant voltage. Two hundred and forty-two millivolts. Not a lot, but I mean this battery is not very efficient. I've been trying to get the electrodes right here to basically um, prevent it from touching because they touch somehow the uh, next magnetic stirrer will stick to it. Even though this is copper, there's a small amount of other magnetic material inside it. It's not ultra pure. This kind of stuff is not very ultra pure, but I'm going to turn off the meter now. I don't want to waste the 9 volt battery. But as I've been saying, this is a process that's interesting, but it's not a very efficient process. Thank you for watching.